Hello everyone and welcome to War of the Spark Sealed. The format just came out today. Super excited to be getting into it. Let's join. Yes, let's purchase this item. Hopefully we get good cards. What is the best card in this set? I guess we'll find out by playing. Uh, well, Gideon Back Blackblade might be one of those cards that is the best. Um, three mana for a 4-4 indestructible on your turn is insane. He can target himself to give himself lifelink. So at the very worst, he's a three mana 4-4 four, four indestructible lifelink. Pretty good. And then if you can keep him around for a while, you can exile permanence. Pretty solid. Uh, Jace. So that's four mana for four toughness. And it just draws a card every turn. It seems pretty good. Um, decking, not so much of a thing. Whenever this deals combat damage to a creature or planeswalker, turn to your hand, target creature, planeswalker. That wasn't put there. Okay, so it's basically a four mana five four trample that seems good. Cranko used and constructed, really good. Uh, three mana one two whenever it attacks, put a counter on it. Um, Vivian we had in our last draft, really good. And this card also good for constructed. So let's look at the packs. I don't want to spend too much time there. Oh, how do I change? Oh. Oh, okay, we can put them in there. Okay, so let's change it like that. I'm gonna use this to add them, add all the cards that look kind of good, and then we'll go through, can I sort by color? Hang on, I'm gonna figure this out and come back. I figured out, I can hit this button to zoom out. That seems to be the best that we can do, but I can kind of get an idea of what the pool is like. Um, so we wanna be in white, we have Gideon and the Wanderer, both really good cards. Uh, makeshift Battalion. Oh, that's pretty good. Three mana, three two. Um, Divine Arrow is good. Battlefield Promotion is good. Defiant Strike I like. Um, I only have one Charm Stray, so probably not doing that. Five mana, three four Flyer seems pretty nice. So white seems pretty solid. I guess I can start adding these, right? Like this, this, this. I do have a Gideon's Planeswalker, so <laughs> that, that, that. Oh, I have two of those, okay. Um, a 4 mana 2-5 maybe could get there, depending on how aggressive we are. Um, I do like Bulwark Giant. Okay, so in white, or blue, Cosmina Transmutation is pretty good. Um, this is a 2 mana 1-2 flyer that can get a lot bigger. I love Aven Eternal, Spellkeeper Weird, Jace, Kazmina is also good. Don't know about Relentless Advance. Um, that card could be good. 4 mana for 3 power in blue is not the worst. Um, and it's a spell, so it has some upsides. I like all the flyers we can get while wow, we have two Thunder Drakes. Okay, so blue seems good too. Uh, Kai's Ghost Form. When it dies, bring it back. This type of effect in general is pretty weak because A, if they kill whatever you're enchanting in response, um, you just lose both. And there are ways. Oh, this does say Ores put in exile. Okay. Um, but still, like if you Kazmina's Transmutation the creature or something like that, it's just not that good. Um, Spark Harvest is amazing, so definitely putting that in. Uh, this is 5 mana, kill a creature, Planeswalker. Not bad. Uh, Cruelty is great. Not sold on this card. Maybe for Seal it can get there. Oh, 3 Shriek Divers. Spark Reaver is a little slow. Uh, that's okay if you're being aggressive. Amass 2. Okay, so Black is not the best, but we do have double Spark Harvest, so... Probably going to want to splash those. Samut Sprint is good for Constructed. Ooh, Chandra's Pyrohelix is really nice. Um, this basically casts 1-drops. But that can bring back a Spark Harvest, so I could be on board for that. Um, don't really like Heat Fire. Jai's Greeting's good. This card's good. Cranko's great. Probably not going to be playing red. Um, that just doesn't look super exciting. So I'm going to cut these for now. I'm going to keep in these three because they're really powerful, but we're going to move on. Green. I don't like the grazer and sealed. Maybe it's fine. It's an 03 reach. Maybe it's fine. Giant growth is a great effect. Courage and crisis is good. The evolution sage is so powerful. This card... Probably one of the best uncommons in the format. Whatever land enters proliferate is 10 out of 10. New Horizons I like. Vivian is good with a lot of creatures, and her Grizzly is good with Vivian. I like Centaur Nurture. What does this do? How do I zoom down here? 
Trample Vigilance, whenever it counters on it, put double. Not double, just one more. Yeah, seems pretty good. Uh, Hexproof Crocodile, yes. Dovin's Veto's good. This is good. The Spark is good. Kaya's good. I don't think I'm going to be invading this city. It's pretty... I think I have a lot of good cards in other colors. I'm not going to play red. Um, so, probably not doing that. Death Spout. Ooh. Wow. So, we can use that to splash, and we have two of them. All right, well, we're definitely going green-black. We have a Gateway Plaza, two Pledge of Unities. Wow, this deck's kind of busted. Uh, maybe Iron Bully? Probably not going to play Iron Bully. Okay, so that's all the cards. Can I zoom this out? No. So, looking at colors... Honestly, blue is looking a little weak here. I'm not playing that for sure. Probably not playing Totally Lost. I think, huh, this is kind of hard. I probably want to be black because we have two Death Spout and two Spark Harvest. Like, that's just super busted, um, which makes us want to be green. I don't think this is a giant growth type deck. But, like, Evolution Sage plus double Pledge of Unity is really good. But we do need to make quite a few cuts. I don't think I would play this or this. Probably not going to play many of the aggressive white cards. In fact, I could see just cutting white. Oh, we have Gideon, though. <laughs> right, that's right. We have Gideon. Um, and Gideon's Triumph. I don't think I'm going to run that. This is only you control. I know this type of effect in Limited is really, really good. Um... I just don't know how much I care about it in this deck. Maybe we'll bring it back, but I'm trying to cut or limit the amount of white that we're playing. I don't think we need transmutation. We actually have a good amount of like solid, solid removal. I do like the flyers. Probably Vivian's Grizzly is not good in this deck. Maybe that's not that great here. Um. That does help with the splashes. Let's see. Wow, we just have all removal. <laughs> and this can get back Planeswalkers that die. Okay, that's pretty nice. And we could just make this huge. I don't like that. Um, this is double blue, but if we're playing Jace, we need as much blue as we can possibly get. <laughs> uh, this is 51. What happens if we just cut the blue? This, this, this. That looks more reasonable. This is becoming kind of a real deck. The thing is, I think we can splash some of the blue. To one other target creature until end of turn. So, suppose we don't have that many creatures. Oh, we have three Shriek Divers. I think I can do better than that. So we can cut a lot of those, probably cut these. So now we're basically green white splashing black for Death Spout and Storev. Hmm. I think the blue was really good. I just don't know if I can cast this. Like this mana looks so bad, but we have a bunch of removal. We can stay alive for a really long time. I'm I'm confident. Let's play the blue here. That that that. I like the weird Aven Eternal. Eternal Skylord is a lot of power for not much mana. I think we're looking for like high impact creatures to put in this deck because we're really dirtling and stalling the game out. And then I guess Jace is our win condition so we don't deck. All right, we're kind of on board for that. 
And none of these other cards do a whole lot of what we want. I know this card is amazing, um, but we're not really an aggressive creature deck. I, I want to play the Dirtily Planeswalker decks. That's what this format's about. Like the Wanderer, Kazmina, Jace, Death Spout, all that seems really sweet. Maybe I don't need the Crocodile. We'll cut the Crocodile. Do I have any ways to put counters on this anymore? I don't actually think I do. Oh, New Horizons. All right, without ways to put counters, I'm going to cut Moai. And Vivian, how many creatures am I running? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Vivian seems pretty bad. But we have two Mana Geode that can help with our mana. Basically, unlimited removal. A couple flyers. And then one, two, three, four, five really good planeswalkers. I'm on board for that. <laughs> we have established the solid four, 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 one mana base here. Because we need black, we need white early. And then blue green. I think I can decrease one of the blacks and add a green here. Because we want New Horizons and Death Spout. Oh, we actually kind of want the black for Death Spout. And then blue is a bit less important. And we have three blue, so we can get them all with Death Spout, so we can cast Jace eventually. But most of our spells are single blue. Yeah, this man is real good. Absolutely perfect. Done. Let's go to round one. Oh yeah, look at this. We got we got all our colors except for black. And we got Jace. <laughs> we have all of our colors. And we can only cast one of the cards in our hand. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Let's lead on island. Um, we have mostly blue sources. Okay, to spark. Yet another uncastable, but that's fine, that's fine. We'll get there. Hmm. Hmm, that's a problem. There we go, we got black. This is an instant. Okay. And this is Exile, this is Exile, this is just a 5-4. Taskmaster attacks, Vraska's finisher, okay. I guess that's a good card to look out for. Ooh, Mana Geode's pretty nice here. So the Wanderer doesn't do much. We're kind of in some issue here. Spark Harvest, 5 mana, kill anything. Deal. I think we gotta kill this, otherwise they just keep getting stuff back. And I don't really want to run out this 5-4. They're in black, so they probably have a good amount of removal. Pulling Bright Druid. No! Don't do that! Oh, opponent's smart. Still nothing with power for or greater or CMC for or greater. Let's go forest. This is a sorcery. Okay, so if I play a 5 4 and they kill it, I'm kind of in trouble. We can play the Wanderer and exile this, but then the Wanderer dies to these two. So I think we're going to spark harvest here. And we have to kill that. And that clears the way for the Wanderer to exile Vraska's finisher next turn. And if we draw a black or a white source, we can go the Wanderer plus D Spark, whatever they cast right now. Uh, take an eight. So if they have any way to pump this, we just die. 
or another creature we just die? No. No. Oh, okay. That's not the end of the world. Let's play the Wanderer. Yeah. So you're going to exile this. And then I guess we have to play Gateway Plaza. Because Despark can only target the Wanderer. <laughs> if they have any pump fill, we die. But... And Jace only draws cards. Alright. I guess we're playing this as a blocker next turn. Probably this is dying. Unless we're dying. Yeah, they're reading it. Okay. Okay. Don't mind that so much. Um... So this is returned to the battlefield under their control. I'm going to play this. If they kill this, we can spark harvest this in response. Okay, and they didn't kill it end of turn, so... Nope, it's a sorcery, never mind. But the, we couldn't even kill this because it would just come back with one power. Yeah. All right, we're dead. Man, that's unfortunate. We got we had all the sweet plays too. Wanna just played all the little dudes. All right, round one down. I'm determined. We're gonna play Jace, and we're gonna win by mill. I think that's the goal of this whole video, is win by a Jace. Let's go back, run back in. Hmm. So we're on the draw. Uh, this hand really doesn't do anything, so let's mulligan. This hand's way better. Gideon's Triumph, so that can kill a creature, but sure, let's do that. So we can go on planes. Gateway Plaza, a man after my own heart. I don't like that. Definitely pay one here. Next turn we could play an Aven Eternal. Raska's finisher, sure. <laughs> Jace, the top deck that we really wanted. Um, I don't really want to get any triumph just yet. I'd rather get creatures on the battlefield here. And I'll probably trade off. What does this effect do? Kazmina. Suppose your opponent's cast a target a creature or planeswalker you control costs two more. Um, now I'm not going to trade off because killing Kazmina basically kills a 2 2 wizard. And that's kind of cool. Gideon's Triumph actually doesn't cost more because of Kazmina. So we tech there. And we're just going to get in Triumph. We have no castable spells right now. Any green or black... Actually, yeah. No, we we need a black source to cast this. Darn. <laughs> yep. So opponent attacks. So I think this works now, right? They attacked. Uh, I need to look this up really quick. All right, it definitely can be, so we're going to do that. I just wanted to make sure that it um, it worked like that. Because it, it's kind of weird, like, does attacked mean finished attacking or, like, was declared as an attacker? Turns out it means declared as an attacker, which is what you would expect. So our hand's pretty bad. Um, I 
We can attack Kazmina there, and then we try and trade the 3-2 for the 2-2. Two -two. They probably have something, but I'm okay with them killing this 1-1. One -one. Sweet, they blocked. I just realized something. Uh-oh. I think I may have put way too few lands in this deck. I think the auto land may have led me astray. We have, no, 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 it's 17. We have 17 lands there. That seems fine, actually. Okay, as soon as we draw a Swamp Death Spell, we'll fix our mana. I think you're in a rough spot though when your mana fixing costs black, black, green, and you're trying to fix for a triple blue card. <laughs> but we have Dispark to kill any crazy stuff they might play, so that's good. Like that one. That's one of the best cards in the format. Get out of here, you. Give me that Eternal Sky Lord. Okay, doing pretty good. Any non-green source, and we can cast Kaya or Rescuer Sphinx. Basically, Force is the worst draw in the deck. Oh, sweet. One has a bunch of tutus. I'll bite. What do you got? Sure. So it's just a clean trade. I'm down for that. Come on, man. I said Forest was the worst card in the deck. <laughs> I have four Forests in the deck, I believe. So there are no more. We're only getting hit for two so far. Come on. Non Forest. Evolution Sage. I'll take it. Honestly, I have to probably trade that with a Raging Crunch as much as I dislike it. Jeez, okay. One is stuck with removal in hand. If we can just draw a swamp. We have one turn. There we go. Swamp indeed. Um, this is an instant. Your opponent's Okay, so she can just kill Hexproof stuff. That's what she does. This uses our mana the best. But it's a little suspect. I kind of like... We'll pass turn and then Death Spout... Probably gonna death spell this 2 2 on their combat because this can't attack. And I have a stop on here. I don't know if I can do beginning of combat or not. I don't know how this stops work, so I'm just gonna death spell the 2 2 right now. Because this can't attack alone. And we're gonna get an island. Boom. Look at this perfect mana base. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're so dead. Okay. That's problematic. I think we have outs to that. Hmm. Well, that's pretty problematic. Let's play Kaya. Exile the Raging Crunch. If I give them any creatures, they just hit it with Obnixilis. That is a very, very, very good effect against our deck. 
If our life total was higher, I'd be more comfortable, but... This is kind of sketchy. Hey, Jace. We're, like, really dead, though. All right, we'll mill ourselves. <laughs> we go down to two. No! Oh, Spellkeeper weird. Oh, but that doesn't work because they can kill without Nixilis. We lost our Spark Harvest. That's our out. We actually cannot cast a creature here because they kill it and then we die. Opponent's like, do I even kill their... Planeswalkers? I'm sorry, what? That says player. <laughs> they had lethal, all right. We got another shot at life. And it's just really big. I can't believe they killed my Planeswalker instead of just killing me. Yes! We did it. Okay. Um, spark harvest. You. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And then Jace. Wow, did they punt the game away? Play a swamp. This, this doesn't have menace or anything, right? Spellkeeper weird. Wow, 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 we're coming back. We got a big graveyard too. What? No! <laughs> we were so close. Oh. I mean, they did give us the game anyway. Oh. All right, see you guys next round. Okay, okay. This is the hand. This is the hand that's gonna do it. Even Eternal turn three, Kazmina turn four, Death Spout can fix our mana if we find a swamp. Easy. So I guess Death Spout's finding a planes probably. Okay. Uh, starting with swamp, I suppose. Passing turn. Uh, forest, not the best draw. I wonder if I'm playing too many forests. I don't think so. Forest creature. Get out of here. Alright. Death Spout, man. Let's play Even Eternal. So this can protect Kazmina. And then Kazmina can help us loot into a swamp for this. Probably just going to discard this forest if I draw any other land. All right, we really need double black here. <laughs> Do that. Easy ability. Jace, Jace, Jace. We're going to discard Jace because we can get it back with Storev. No attacks. I need this to work. And I think finding one swamp is way more likely than two islands. What is this? I don't like this at all. Oh no. It has vigilance? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so we can actually block here and then kill it. And I need to keep Kazmina alive because we're, we just need to hit a swamp. That's not it. So make a thing. No forests. We're going to kill this. Player planes. Uh, you attack you. You attack you. Johnny's down. I mean, plus one gain three life is pretty sick. All right, 
Swamp. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. Oh. Wait. Oh, because we exiled it. Nice. So they get a Johnny back, but he doesn't do a whole much on an empty board. And Spellkeeper Weird can get back Obnixilis's Cruelty and recast it in the same turn. So even any creature they use, we could just kill it. So that's sweet. Guys, I just discovered the best thing. Are you ready? You can break down the Bolas statue. You can also light the beacons of the different guilds. Oh, maybe just that one. You can make that one shock. You can do some cool stuff in the background. Anyway, uh, let's move to combat. Two attackers, swing, swing. Swing. I kind of want to keep back the Spellkeeper weird so that we can get Cruelty at instant speed if need be. Sure. Costs four mana. Jeez. End of turn. So, yeah. Cruelty and Spark Harvest. Both at the ready. End turn Nurture. Yep. Um, I think I kind of want to kill that. Let's use our mana so effectively, and with double death spout, I'm on board. Target you. Um, I'm going to save Spark Harvest for the Ajani in case things get dire. Yes, okay. To combat, attack, swing, swing, boom. Damage. Play the big boy, finally. So he has trample and we can get back Spellkeeper weird. That's super mean. No! Wait, spells or abilities? No! No! Fine. But we can kill the Wanderer. And basically everything they play for the next millennia is covered. Unfortunately, Jace is gone forever. And with that, we don't actually have many win conditions left. <laughs> we just gonna have to win on like anemic beatdowns here. Yeah, that's fine. Attackers, end of combat. All right, kill this. Get an island. Double blue. Sure. Ooh, I like the nurture. Okay. Let's attack. Play this. Still holding up D Spark, but not Death Spout. That's fine, I think. I think they're waiting to play. Oh, okay, pretty good. Chooses a creature or planeswalker. I guess I keep this. It's a good card, good to play around that. Ooh, evolution sage is nice, so combat attacker, swing for two. Uh, play the sage. Why can I not? <laughs> All right, I guess I just skipped my second main, whatever. I probably misclicked somewhere. Oh, single combat, that's why. Okay, okay. You know, this might be a bad matchup for us because they have a lot of removal. Okay, never mind, we're good. Make a token. And Evolution Sage, if we hit a land, can make this a 3-3. Sweet. 
This has flying, but for some reason it doesn't show up as having flying. I think there's like a... Uh, there should be an animation, but... I'm just gonna assume flying works here. So they can make this a 3-3, but then... It just dies. I think they want to start upticking a Johnny. Yeah. Attackers to end of combat. I'm just going to exile him. Seems fine to me. Manage geode. Okay. So they can't block any of these. They're actually just dead next turn. And I'm going to play around another, like, board wipe or whatever, swamp. Don't really need that, so... Uh... Am I? That's with them having two board wipes is so low. I think it's much more likely they just have a single kill spell. I'm not going to play around cards I haven't seen. Yeah, because now they make that a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I think we could just kill all of their blockers, though. Yeah, they're actually just dead. Oh, they're super dead. So Death Spout kills the 3-3. Three, three. Um, we can get, I don't know, planes or something. Oh. And they take six no matter what, because we proliferate. <laughs> oh, what? Bit one, yeah. Just combat, attackers, swing out. And opponent blocks one, take six. We won a game, guys. Coming back. Dirtily Planeswalker Control wins the first round. Beautiful. See you guys next round. Um, We go first. We currently cannot cast a single card in our hand. If we draw any... I'm going to keep. We have Centaur Nurturer, man. I think that's, that's the key to all good things. Hello. Hello. Look at it. We got ma <laughs> perfect mana now. We can cast everything. Uh, Gateway Plaza, you're a turn too late, my dude. Planes? Yeah. Down for that. Now we can cast Kaya. We can Death Spout for the rest of our manas. Mayhem Devil. I don't like Mayhem Devil. Um, this can just block it. Can't just block it. Yeah, we'll do that. Play the planes, pass turn. And Kai just exiles any creature. Such a good card. So they can swing and sacrifice, and then our center of nurture would die. Oh. She only hits players, right? They didn't even activate her. Sweet. She knows that much damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Okay. So, yes, we can go. I guess we can just go Gateway Plaza. Into Death Spout. I don't really want to let Chandra too, too much here. Play the one. Then. Oh, we need to use that? Okay. Let's just play the Sky Lord then. And then we can Death Spout next turn. Yeah, I forgot I, I needed this for the double black. 
But them not upticking Chandra is pretty good for us. What is this? Okay. I mean, we're taking five. They cannot use that ability. And a Dusk Mantle operative, okay. That is a bold attack. No blocks. Swamp it is. So, play that. Um, kind of want to swing at Chandra with everything. They kind of have to block here. And if they double block, we can really get them. Nice. So, in order like that, and then Death Spout the 2 3. This is going to grab an island. So, not only did they let Chandra die, I'm pretty okay with that trade. <laughs> Spark Harvest is a good card. <clears throat> so they let Chandra die, and I just got to eat a free creature. We just gotta make sure we don't get killed too quickly. But I think Raging Conch is fine, so... Um... I don't want to kill this. I'm scared they have the um, target creatures indestructible though. I think I want to play Kaya. Exile you. Because then Raging Conch can't attack. It can block alone. It's important to note. But I will swing for two in the air. Pass turn. And then we have Spark Harvest plus Kaya. This deck needs a bit of card draw, I think. I wish I had a, like just a few blue card draw spells. Jace is the only one, and he's kind of suspect. That one. That's the card I want. I can't judge opponent's mana, but I kind of want to. <laughs> All right, opponent scries two to the top, two to the bottom. That's scary. Nothing. Ooh, Evolution Sage is real good. So, I think we do this. Just get it out of the way. The combat. Swim with everything. Play the Sage, and now if we draw lands, but things get better, and Kaya goes up to, you know, being able to do stuff. And if we don't draw lands, Draw spells, and we can cast every spell in our deck. Which is quite the statement, because we have triple blue, triple black, white, green. Yeah, that's quite the statement. Oh, now he's flying. What's going on? Flux. Chandler. I think this card is probably one of the best uncommons in the set. Ooh, Jace's Triumph. Opponent's got card draw, but no pressure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can put him to 1. We can put him to 1. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right now, if we swing out, they trade for Evolution Sage and take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They fall to 4. Honestly, that's kind of fine as well. Um, I guess we should Kazmina pre-combat to see if there's anything we want. Oh. <laughs> you know it's scary when your opponent discards a Spark Harvest. I guess I can just... We're going to put the opponent to one. I don't see a way out of this for them. 
Um, maybe there's some rats in the format I'm not aware of. Yeah. Nice, nice. Got him. Coming back. See you guys next round. Hey, we finally have New Horizons. I'm going to keep this. The sand is actually really nice. It has all the colors we could ask for. And Spellkeeper weird into blocking for the Wanderer. Kazmina? Guys, this deck's amazing. Uh, I guess black doesn't really matter. Nice. Okay, so let's play the weird first. Probably next turn we're going to Cosmina, but I don't really want to loot anything, so maybe I wait. Uh... I kind of like New Horizons on... the forest but that doesn't really set us up to do that much next turn either so we're just gonna play Aven Eternal it's kind of the safest play here um, we get good blockers for their attackers and if they play anything super good the Wanderer deals with it and then we can just start making tutus but again I don't want to loot because I want lands and spells so I think this deck needs a bit of card advantage. I'll bite. Well, uh, there's so many pump spells I'm not going to block. I'd rather have this when I have a kill spell up. That just, it felt like they wanted to trade, you know? Tap trigger creature with CMC2 or greater. Okay. Um, hmm. Now what do we do? We can play this. We can play the island and just straight up spark harvest their law rune enforcer. But that card is not actually that good against us. I think we could just straight up kill their Aven Eternal. And then they don't have much pressure against us. Yeah. Okay. Wait for. Oh, uh, wait. We can uh, sacrifice this and then... No, there's really no reason. We can keep the 1-1. One, one. Kill that. Okay, I guess we have to. Sacrifice a creature. Kill you. Sacrifice that. Alright, that's what I that's what I've settled on. Then we play Cosmina. Poop out a dude. Ooh, I like the spark. You know, I don't really need New Horizons anymore. And I don't particularly want to attack. I want to keep keep this lady around. Um, it makes their kill spells much harder to cast and their board presence is just so bad and now we have answers to any big scary stuff they can do Like that So they tap down even eternal So chumping is like almost strictly better here because we can just make another one now we can play the Wanderer. Exile this. She makes another dude. Uh, I cannot cast the Death Spout, so unfortunately I have to discard that. But swing for three. Yeah, we just this deck is so full of removal that when we draw our mana, we do some dirty stuff. This card is really good. This is only spells though. Oh, can't even cast that. So what do I have to get back? Kind of wish I did not discard the New Horizons here.
I think I just want to wait. I think this game favors me quite a bit. Especially with Gideon. Oh, that's tapped. I kind of want to get back Death Spout, but I think that's fine. And this costs two, so it can take one damage. And we can trade here. Yeah, I think saving this is better. Like, what if we go a million turns and don't draw another Swamp? War Screecher, yeah. That's a good one. Trade off here. They did not have a pump spell. Interesting. My turn. Forest. <laughs> Always the most useless draw. Um, so they can kill Cosmina if we, huh, I feel like I almost have to spark harvest this Lauren Enforcer. The problem is I have to sacrifice a creature to do that. No, I'm just going to wait. Yep, that's fine. No attacks. Yeah, because this, this needs double black as well. Um, unless I just want to get rid of this guy, which seems a little suspect. Interesting. Well, now I think I do it. Get back to Death Spout. Can't actually cast it, but we hit a swamp. We're golden. Resolve. Kind of weird to tap that down. He doesn't have flying. And opponent's not going to be doing any non-combat damage. Oh, maybe Soren's Thirst. Soren's Thirst would make sense. Damage. All right, Swamp or Plains. Either one is good. Evolution Sage. Yeah. Um, hmm. So they can just tap this down. So I, there's really nothing to gain by attacking, though. I need to hit more mana. As weird as it is, I'm at this point where I cannot actually cannot cast the spells in my hand despite having six lands in play and it being like turn 20. Interesting. This feels like they have a team pump. So I'm just going to block here. Kazmina dying doesn't matter too much to me. Okay. So this play makes sense. I 
Jack Skulker. That is definitely a good target for a D Spark. Because it, it doesn't have four power. Eternal Skylord, also a great card here. Okay, two two flyer. Back for three. And now we can just let our planeswalkers die and start beating down. Especially if we get Gideon around. And we can start um adding counters to the zombie army, which is pretty sweet. So like they can spend their turn tapping down and attacking, and then they have no blockers back. So I'm good for that. Oh. Huh. They have another Gideon's approach thing? What can get me here? I actually don't know what cards are in the format. I'm just gonna play into it. They're gonna have the trick. Regard okay. Strange. Okay, that I guess makes sense. So they just were hoping I wouldn't block. There we go, Gateway Plaza. Everything's unlocked. Okay, now we're... I'm really happy with where we're at now. Um, Wanderer goes to one, which is a little sad. Oh. Okay. Be good, I guess. Go planes. Play Gideon. Up to one other submit zero. Okay. And I don't really want to let them use that, so we're going to Death Spout, I suppose. I don't want to let them activate it. And we're going to get that last blue for Jace Boy. So it's third from the top. Now it's second from the top. Gideon's going to be hard to kill. They can kill the Wanderer, but He's going to keep growing. And I feel like I just give him lifelink. Never mind, it's other. I always forget Gideon is other creature. But Kevnit's down for a bit. Two turns away. I'm sorry, what did they just cast? Use up to four cards in your graveyard. The opponent chooses two of them. To put in the graveyard. Okay. Opponent chooses two of them. Leave the chosen cards in your graveyard. So I don't want them having Gideon's Triumph. And I don't want them having Law Rune Enforcer because that just taps down Gideon. So they get even eternal and a board wipe. Sure. They kill the wanderer. Makes sense. Ooh, I do like that. So let's play centaur nurturer. Then we can give this indestructible. Target you, indestructible. And I think we just 
Feels pretty bad to spark harvest the Aven Eternal. Attack for four. We'll, we'll attack first and see what happens. Down to ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Gideon take three. I think that's okay. Basically, mostly I'm waiting to see if they have anything scarier. Okay, so I feel like I give the Nurturer Vigilance here. to combat thing for six okay uh getting that four the problem is if i spark harvest their two two and then they do something like much scarier i'm gonna regret it oh, they're playing kefnit next turn that's right I kind of have to wait to kill that. Okay. Gideon's going to fall to one. Yep. But my opponent falls to two. Ooh. All right, let's do it. No, this auto tap. Okay, I can give it vigilance though. Let goes third from the top. Use his ability, give this vigilance. And then I can still tap it for mana to cast Jace. Right. Yeah. <gasps> Top two cards. Okay, I can do that next turn. Target me. And then I can actually just mill their Kefnet. Ooh, we have Divine Arrow. <gasps> okay, I'm so happy right now. Right? This is only from the battlefield. So I can just mill it and then they never can use it again and oh man no they have the wanderer <laughs> oh this is brutal right that doesn't work wow opponent must be ghosting that's good sequencing by the opponent right there so I think they have to board wipe. No? All right, well. Target you to mill two. They lose their Kefnet. We're gonna death spout this one three here. And opponent just dies. Grab a swamp. Thank you. Yeah, coming back, bringing it back. We're now three, we have a positive record here. Never give up guys. 600 gold, see you guys next round. All right, we're here, uh, we're on the play. We currently cannot cast anything. But if we draw a forest, if we draw a forest, then we're then we're doing some stuff. This is maybe slightly greedy. Wait, did it even let me choose if I wanted to play or draw? I don't actually know if it did. I'm gonna lead on planes. Cause I think this deck probably wants to be on the draw. Look at that. Look how good I am at this game. So we're gonna play this forest. That way they don't make us discard it. So let's go swamp. 
Because we cannot cast Gideon this turn, unfortunately. Goblin Assailant. I'm pretty okay with that. Let's go Island. Centaur Nurturer. Don't kill it. If they attack, I'm just going to take it. Oh. Okay. Um, the Wanderer can actually deal with that token pretty soon, so... Dude, you just gave it Menace? Come on. You're supposed to remember these things. Um... So I can actually New Horizons on the forest, or the island, and then cast Aven Eternal. Yeah. Thank you, big. Cast you. And this kind of... Oh, actually, this is even better. Now they have to chump. Nice, nice. Angrath down. Sometimes attacking is your best form of defense. Well, that's a type of behemoth. That guy's going real fast. And I will double block the 2 2 here. Oh, it doesn't even have menace. I'll take four. I don't mind that. I kind of want to keep the Wanderer alive. I think... Can I play both? Play the Wanderer. I believe I can. Exile this. Forest. Play Gideon. Plus one. I kind of want to give this 3-5 Vigilance. Yeah, I don't really need lifelink. And I'll keep back Aven Eternal just as defense. Nice! Still crushing it. Alright, see you guys next round. Uh, this hand. Oh yeah, we have to keep this hand. Yeah, it doesn't let me choose if I want to go first or not. Maybe that has to be in the settings. Gameplay... No? I don't know. Oh, show phases. I don't know what any of this does. Uh, we drew the Wanderer. Okay. Can't we pause it yet? Okay, I have no idea what show phases does then. Let's do that. And... If they do nothing, we're going to Kazmina. What do I want him to play? Like a... That. That's what I want him to play. <laughs> and a Wall of Runes. I would choose for my opponent to have in this deck. This card in their deck so often. Mana Geode. Nice. Okay. So... Mana Geode, we only have two mana. I think we do want to play Kazmina. Use her ability. Wow. Uh, what do I even discard here? This card's like amazing. Every card in my hand's amazing. All right. Goodbye, Eternal Sky Lord. That is kind of scary for the opponent here. If we hit a land, we can go Mana Geode into Gideon. That's basically the only reason I kept Gideon is we, we kind of have to play this. Fair enough, opponent. Took their whole turn, though. New Horizons. 
Ugh, that's like a pretty bad draw. I guess we just mana geode. Don't really need that. I just need lands here. Yeah, so Kazmina dies. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept uh, kept the creature. This enters a mass two. It's a three three trampler, okay. I kinda wanna wait for them to amass one more time. Me and her, sure. Okay, planes is good. Um one, two, three, four. So I can still new horizons into death spout. Because Gideon's just gonna die. Right, he goes up to five and then takes a bunch. Yep, okay. So this, this, this. New Horizons here, tap this for double green. Yeah, that works. And then pass turn. <clears throat> and I really want them to amass one more time. Nice. That's, <laughs> it's weird that I'm excited about my opponent's creatures getting bigger, but I am. And we kind of have to death spout here, even though everything's pretty anemic. Um, we just need to get stuff off the battlefield. I'm gonna kill the 2-2. Two -two. They're probably like, what is going on? Um... Need the battlefield. I think I just need another. I have white, white, double black. I kind of need more white. So now we have one, two, three, four. We can play the wanderer. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is pretty good. Play the wanderer. Exile this four, four. And then play Aven Eternal, and that blocks both of those guys. Pretty happy I left the 2 1 now. Exile that. Play this to block. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Sword's Thirst, sure. I have the Wanderer. <laughs> this card is surprisingly relevant a lot of the time. We just ate a card in their hand. I mean, people will figure it out, but pro tip, play around the Wanderer. Wow, that artwork, man. That dude's got a lot of armor underwater. That seems hard. I think first is a creature. Okay. So they just attack with the two one? Ooh, no attacks. Oh, we have Gideon and his triumph. So why would you tap like that? Play Gideon. Give this vigilance. Swing. I'm so excited to run out the Gideon's Triumph here. Um, no reason to use the Wanderer. They have one card left, and if it's a burn spell, they're just out of luck. I, I really want this to happen right now. Attack, attack, attack. Come on, swing with all three. You really want to get it down. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay, so, get in plus one, target you. 
Uh, lifelink? Because I'm going to bounce it to hand. Play Rescuer Sphinx. Bounce this. Play this. Turn. Alright, opponent, you got one card in hand. Well, two. But I don't have any board wipes. Yeah! Man, we're gonna go undefeated. Well, we lost the first two, but we're really coming back. See you guys next round. I guess I might as well show this reward that we just got. Claim the prize. Let's open the pack for you guys. Mid draft. I don't know why I won this pack, by the way, but I have it. And I love this rare. So, Massacre Girl. We're gonna go through this. She's a 5-mana 4-4 four, four Menace, already a pretty good rate. When she enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than her gets minus 1, minus 1 end of turn. So, if they have a 1-1, one, one, she triggers, kills the 1-1, one, one, and then everything else is minus 1, minus 1. So if they have 2-2, two, two, it becomes a 1-1. One, one. Then the 1-1 one, one dies, makes everything else minus 1, minus 1. So now if they had the 2-2, two, two, it was a 1-1. One, one. Now it's dead, and it just goes all the way up the chain, so you can do some really dirty stuff with her. But anyway, see you guys next round. Okay, so... Again? If we draw a forest, this hand is perfect. We're on the draw. I'm gonna keep. New Horizons means we can hit double black pretty easy, and double white means we can cast Gideon, and I think we have the most green sources in our deck. I know the old adage, like, splashing for fixing will cause problems or whatever, but... Well, it's whatever. We got a Gideon. Ooh. Okay, opponent's not doing anything. We're going to actually run out Gideon, um, start upticking. Zero. Because if he gets up to 6 and our opponent's missing land drops, they're just dead. Okay, so they're not missing land drops anymore. And we hit our forest. Absolutely, positively perfect. Um, play the Nurturer and uptick Gideon, I guess. Look at you. Make you indestructible for whatever reason. Um, they could get us with Gideon's Approach, which would be pretty rough. Gideon's Triumph. Yep. Goodbye, Gideon. I thought about playing around that, honestly. But it... it... <sighs> I guess I would have been attacking with this. Whenever another creature or planeswalker dies. Hmm. So I think. Oh, we're just gonna go swamp, play the Sky Lord, playing around days. Attack with this. Man, I can't believe Gideon got killed by his own triumph. That is a flavor fail, if I say so. But our mana is online. Iron Bully. Sure. Is there another creature or planeswalker you control dies? This gets bigger. Sure. I think I just kill that and leave them with a 1 1. Oh. I can do the same play. So we're going to New Horizons on the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Put a counter here. And then play this swamp. Swing out. And if they go for any of these double blocks, we can just blow them out. Right? The obvious double block is this and this on this. But that's so bad against our removal spell, yeah. Now opponent's at 10. I don't know, man. 
We do want to stop drawing lands eventually. What is this? So, sacrifice a creature. Search a library for a creature card with CMC 1 plus it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Let's see what you get. So, it's a 4 drop? Pretty big. Okay, so two attackers. This is a 5 5. If they attack, I think I just kill the Bloom Hulk. Mm. I guess I just kill Rising Populace now. Because either way, they're going to be left with a 6 6, and I kind of want to get lands out of our deck. Doesn't really matter. Uh, black, black, blue. I guess I'm gonna get a single island. Doesn't really matter though. Ooh, that's a good card. Play you, play that. Play one, doesn't really matter how. Play that. Three in the air. One is really short on mana here. Uh oh. I'm a bit worried about that board wipe that kills everything and they get to bounce a card. Our opponent's record, I think, is good. I think Arena pairs by a. What happens if we swing out? What are they four, five, six, seven, eight? So unless they have a a kill spell, they're dead. Oh, easy. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. I think we're one game away from the reverse sweep. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, we got one game left. See you guys in the next round. All right. So we're kind of pushing the limits of what's acceptable as a keep. But... We're gonna try it, you know? I think the theme of this draft is let's try it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. This hand literally does nothing without a forest. But with the forest, it does a whole lot. What even is this card? Two mana, two, three fly. That's really good. That's really, really good. I regret my keep. Ooh, Johnny's pride mate. Uh-oh. This, this is the price you pay. <laughs> Goodbye. This guy. Actually, if I get New Horizons, I can cast that. So... Sure. <laughs> the old uh, blue white discard double black green card. I think we're super dead here. We need a forest this turn, otherwise, we don't even stand a chance. We're already at 13. There's an island. All right, we got that guy. He blocks. They can tap it. And then we take one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Wanderer doesn't even do anything is the problem. Honestly, I think I just have to spark harvest that, sacrificing the spellkeeper weird. Unfortunately, I can't use the ability in response because that'd be pretty sweet. But now we're only taking three, and if we draw any land, we can play Eternal Skylord and start blocking. So 
That's something. No! You're not supposed to attack with that. Alright, land off the top, please. Okay, I'll take it. Honestly, that's not so bad. And a divine arrow down the pride mate. Then we're only taking one per turn. Kill you. I'm curious what's in the opponent's hand. Probably just kill spells. Hmm. That's problematic, because they still have the one up to tap. We're taking three. That's problematic. Forest. Nice. I like forest. So let's go forest. Sky Lord. I think that blocks the best. Tapped on the Sky Lord, but now we can start like Gideon gaining life or something like that. Sometimes you get rewarded for your greedy gameplay. Like we're up a card now. I'm definitely trading. Am I? I don't really feel the need to. Sure, no blocks. I kind of want to be able to give this lifelink with Gideon without them tapping it down. Gideon comes down at four, so... Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Well, this is kind of suspect. I can go New Horizons, make this a 3-3. Three, three. Give it lifelink and swing. They can kill Gideon if they swing all out. But that might be what's necessary. You get bigger. I guess I can also just attack here. Yeah, I'm gonna play Gideon. That's gotta be correct. Plus one you, and I could give it Vigilance, I guess. Yeah, actually Vigilance seems pretty solid. I died to a kill spell. Mm, maybe Vigilance wasn't good, because if they have any kill spell, then I'm dead. But they can't tap it down with a Law Rune. Hmm. Fair enough. I guess I do this. Because I don't have that many things to tap. Sure. Maybe life link was better. For some reason, I thought this was tapped. I think it's another 2 2. Oh, they're attacking Gideon, though. Nice. Never mind that I'm at four life. And we want to threaten the attack with Gideon so they tap it with a law rune before anything happens. Whoa, what? They, what? They discarded that? That's scary. Okay, so I'm going to move to combat and attack. There's no reason not to. Okay, 
Because he's only preacher on my turn anyway. <sighs> Gideon got killed by his own triumph twice here. So... Even eternal... What is this? Oh, we're actually dead. I should have led on this, I guess. Yeah, because they just tap and then swing out and we die. Alright, well played opponent, well played. I don't know, maybe not giving lifelink to the token? We're still in a bad spot. I mean, their hand's so good they discarded the Thundering Ceratok, so... I think we're just dead. Man, we are so close to the reverse sweep, but I think we got our buy-in back, so we can do more sealed later on. Let's see what our prize is. Yeah, we got the 2,000 gems back and three beautiful packs. Let's open them. Go to packs. Boom. Number one, Solar Blaze, not that good. Number two, Sarkon's good. And number three, ooh, Jaya and Narsis reversal. Not bad. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I don't know why I'm over there. Uh, we're going here. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.